Let's do this right, let's go to feels from the new intro. I appreciate you guys' feedback on that. It's been a, a lot of good feedback. I've been getting a lot of messages in my DMs on Instagram. A lot of comments and stuff, people just saying that it just kind of encapsulates that Freesma vibe. Um, so that's really cool to hear. For me just here, it's actually the launch night for the Gym Seas drop, which has actually gone live if you're watching this. As always, you can use my discount code Freesma10 for 10% off your entire order, gymseas.com. And if you're in Australia or New Zealand, we're now doing free shipping on orders over $100. And we're doing free express shipping if your order is over $200 in Australia. So I've been doing a lot today. I've just been getting uh, our email campaigns ready. So um, a morning email to go out, which basically says the drop's going live tonight. One which will go out tonight with actual product links to the items on the store. So that's the next thing I'm going to be doing after doing this. But right now I've just been doing the final stock take on all our new stuff. And also just uh, doing a stock take as well on our old stuff. But just making sure because sometimes, you know, if I give away a piece or a friend of mine wants something... Or, you know, whatever it is, sometimes I just give people stuff and I forget to take it off the site. So just trying to get on top of that, um, it's just surprising, like, how much it, it happens. So what I'm actually just doing currently, I've been measuring all our new products and just getting the new size guides up on the site and finalized. Uh, so I'll show you guys here how that's looking. Do not judge me off my desktop. I'd be judging me very hard right now. It, to be fair, if my desktop looks like this... It's been a good week. So I actually use this app called PicMonkey up here. So I'm just making the, the current size guides for the website. So just giving the exact measurements for our new shirts, our oversized fit shirts. So the shirts we're now doing are custom cut and sew. So I spent a lot of time these last few months to really perfect the oversized tee, uh, which we've done. So we've got a nice high collar that hugs the neck a bit tighter. And then we've got a long shoulder piece which drops off into a long sleeve as well. For most shirts, the shoulder will come up to about there, and then the sleeve will come off, you know, somewhere around here. Our shoulder drops down long, and then we've got the long sleeve as well. So the fit that it gives, it just gives the shirt a lot of depth. Again, the length on these, it's more of a crop, so they're not long. Lots of oversized shirts you wear them, and they look like a dress. These are cropped down nicely to a point where the proportions are just perfect, which I've worked out um, for just basically my personal preference of the perfect oversized shirt. And you guys know if you're watching this, whenever we do gym seas drops, I basically make anything and I base anything on what I personally would want to wear. I've actually just had a delivery as well downstairs uh, currently for our new oversized shirts. Again, we're doing, so all our shirts from now on guys are gonna be oversized. So we're doing a time capsule drop in about three weeks time. And it's gonna be bringing back some of our favorite, actually I can show you guys now. Uh, we're gonna be bringing back some of the favorites, some things which sold out and did really well, which were never restocked. Um, so I'm gonna have to come in from the sides. So we're gonna be bringing back our athletic tees. Uh, this is a new one, so it's part of the time capture drop, but it's, it's one of our new ones. And we got that on the orange oversized. We've got the Gym Steve Sports Neon, which did really well and sold out, and we never did it ever again. And then we've also got the helmet design, which we actually did on a hoodie last year. It completely sold out, so we're doing that on the oversized T now. Also, we're going to be doing an athletics hoodie, so really excited about that. That was our best-selling design, uh, but we're not doing it on an oversized T, we're doing it on a hoodie. And then we've got our Weight of the World vintage logo on a vintage-looking blue and this is going to be an oversized tee as well, so very excited to be bringing this out at the end of the month. And then like I said, I can't really show you what's to the right of the board up there, but you guys will be seeing that. So what do we have here? A wild influencer editing vids on the couch in a natural habitat. Fuck off! <laughs> I'm just showing your vid to the people, babe. So I've actually got a massive headache right now, guys. Every This happens every time we do a gym season drop because it's like, there's so much stuff to finalize, like, uh, you know, usually three Instagram posts on the gym seeds page every time we do this, um, plus stories, and then plus once the drop goes live, the posts to be ready, and then swipe ups, again for gym seas and for my freezer page and then also organizing the email campaign um to send out and then also a facebook ad to run to the new video which we've got i'm here in the gym 
I'm gonna train. I'm gonna train back. I need to train. If I don't train, I just, I'll be just feeling weird. I'll be, it'll be like midnight tonight and I'll just be like awake in bed like something's not right. Actually, look what just came today, guys. Our new oversized tees for our next drop, our time capsule drop. So these have all just come, our custom cut and sews. It's going to be our orange, which we're dropping. It's going to be so good seeing this one oversized with the new Athletics logo on it. These just kind of snuck up on me today. I wasn't expecting them for a few days. And I've been so... Oh, oh bro. Oh, my God. The blue on this, that is a vintage deep blue if ever I've seen one. So we've got a couple of hundred shirts in there. I'm just going to get them all divided up and count them. And then I'll take them to the screen printers tomorrow where they'll be getting printed up over the next couple of weeks. And then we're gonna be doing the same thing in here again, probably setting up for the studio shoot uh, in a few weeks time as well. What I ideally wanna do, so Ash brought all his equipment in, I wanna get a roll which will go up on the mirror up there, just mount up there and then have multiple colors which can just roll down and be backdrops for our photo shoots, which doesn't like need to be done because Ash has the stuff that I want things to just get as efficient as possible um, to which you know we can just do a shoot like any time so just with minimal effort but it's still effort because we've got to set the lights up and stuff but um, still it's just one less thing to set up I knew if I didn't train, I'd just feel like crap. And a lot of times when we do drops of gym sees, I miss my training session that day and I'm just like, something, I just feel so crappy. Just keeping it real simple, just did the warm up drills, um, just warming the lats up, pre exhausting everything behind the shoulders, and then just going into some bent over barbell rows. So I've been going pretty heavy today. I did a set of 80 kgs, then 90 kgs, and then 100 kgs for three sets. And I'm just gonna drop it back down to, I think this is a, 90 now and I'm just going to try to get another five to six reps. Um, my 100 kg sets were five reps as well. Not strict form, using a little bit of momentum, but same principle with a deadlift, just keeping that core tight. So like this point here when you're coming up into a deadlift, you got everything tight. So that's kind of where you're trying to lock in with that um, when you're doing the bent up a row. Obviously it's very important actually the lower back's going to be compromised. And then I'm just going to be doing some abs and maybe some pull-ups. All right, how many reps have I got, babe? Six. Six is the, eight would be great, but I'm pretty exhausted. We'll go for six. Easy six. Yes, go for the eight. Ah. Come on, two more, one more. Yeah. Oh. Not too bad, eh? Not bad. Strength's back a lot, guys. So, um, obviously I've been training for it, and um, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not, I mean, I'm looking quite lean right now. I've just been shredding uh, since the last vlog. I told you guys I was cleaning up my diet. Um, so, I've dropped down from like, pretty much averaging 3,000 calories a day, which is kind of like my standard maintenance, th three to three, two. Been dropping down this week to about 2,500 calories and I'm getting a lot leaner. So one thing I recommend to any of you guys watching this, if you can get lean and then manipulate your food, like bring it back up incrementally and try find uh, you know, a point of maintenance and slowly bring your calories up once you're lean. You've been dieting hard, that, that was exactly what I've done. I, was, I dieted hard through all the lockdowns and stuff. Got super lean and then I really eased up on the foods and just slowly got my food up. And now, you know, my body has gotten used to staying lean at a higher amount of calories than it ever could when I wasn't lean. So when I wasn't lean, I had to deplete my calories a lot more than what I have to do now when I am lean. So um, definitely worth, I recommend to anyone, if you're watching this, 
get lean. You're going to feel good and then once you're lean, you can manipulate your food and you can learn your body a lot better. And um, you know, that's just kind of the point I'm at currently. So I'm just going to do a couple of ab movements at the moment. I've just been uh, training my abs a lot more lately, so... So at the moment when I'm training, I'm trying to hit my abs three times a week. So whether that's like fully hitting abs by themselves at the end of a workout, or if it's just throughout my workout, just super sitting and hanging leg raises, variations, all that kind of stuff. My goal right now, guys, I want to be functional, fit, and athletic, especially through my body weight. So again, one thing I've been practicing is uh, these static holds. So I want to get really good at being able to, I'm not a calisthenics person, but I don't know what it's called, but we kind of hold out and walk out. They make it look so easy. Holy shit. Me? No, they. Yeah, I, I was mean, gonna say, that, that, that looks hard as fuck, right? They. I who is they? I don't try it. No, I can't even. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one on this way. Fuck <laughs> me. No way. No way. I'm not right. So, time actually got away on me a little bit. I've got a few things I need to do before the drop goes live in 30 minutes. Stuff I could do after the drop, but I don't want to do it before it so that it's all ready to go afterwards. Just need to finalize the email campaign, which we've got, and also run a Facebook ad as well, or at least get it kind of ready. I can probably do that tomorrow. I want to do the drop organically, and then I'm going to be doing a bit of experimentation with Facebook marketing. Ways. He's desperate to get in the gym with his little bush rat tail. So look at this big possum rat. It's like Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> he kind of does look like the, the beast in Beauty and the Beast. I mean, he's the beauty in the beast. Oh. <laughs> like in the gym. He loves the treadmill. He loves it. So if it looks like I've got a good thumbnail for this vid, guys, it's because Jim is uh, forfeiting her life to come again and take a photo of me. So thumbs this bit up Ooh, to show your appreciation. I have some news. What? An email. Oh yeah, about Big Brother. Oh, what did they say? I didn't get in. <laughs> oh, you're kidding! You're kidding! I'm not kidding. Oh, when did you get this? You Literally didn't... before. I forgot to tell you. I thought I was. How did you so... forget to tell me? What the? Because I had like kind of thought I wasn't the whole time, so I'm not like mm. I'm not upset about it. So guys, Jim had a Big Brother interview. Uh, when was yeah. it? Last week? Yeah, a week. Ago. We couldn't say anything, obviously. Couldn't say anything. And you've just found out that so like to actually get the interview is really good. How many people were there? Ten. There was like ten people, so that was I'm pretty you know, that could have just been I'm not sure how many interviews they do. Yeah. Uh but how many people applied? It was applied? probably one of three, so thirty from Brisbane slash Gold Coast. Would have been something like that. And then like thirty from Sydney, thirty from Melbourne, I assume. To tell them. So how many people applied last year for the show? Fifty three K. This 53K year I'm down. assuming it's probably sixty or more like It would have been a lot more this year. So for Jim to even get an interview, you know, that was pretty crazy, so I was manifesting that shit though, guys. So was I. I was fucking seeing 11 11 morning and night. I was like, this is it. Maybe it's something else good. It's Come something on. else. It's 100% something else. I believe it. All right, that is me saving the site to now be live. We've got 20 people on the site at the moment. Um. And we are live. How did someone spend 99.90 and not get the free shipping, bruh? There we go. It's recording. Oh. Here we go. And so it begins. The drop is live. Alrighty. Drop. Some three items. Two orders at once, bro. It's kind of cool. Move background on this. I need to have this looking immaculate. Fuck man, you guys are going crazy, son. Nah, it's like it's. Every time I do that, guys, it's me doing a face ID to see that um, how much the order's worth. This drop is going crazy tonight. How's the order going? Good, good. Yeah, what are you watching? Ah, uh, I just can't get into the show, guys. I've tried so hard. So, guys, Jim just made us this most amazing dinner. It's a chicken carbonara and it's just the best thing ever. Look at all this goodness, guys. It's not super clean, but it's also not crazy over the top either, but 
so freaking good. I actually fit this into clients' programs sometimes. Um, it's a Latina creamy carbonara if it's gonna focus. So it's currently Friday today, just sending out orders. So basically, here's the process that we do. I'll open up orders in the tabs on our website and then I'll print them actually out all individually, like all the invoices from the orders. So I use this printer to do that. And once I've printed all those out, I'll actually lay the orders out all on the table, on the floor. Then I'll line all the orders out basically with the invoice on them. And then once they're laid out, I'm just gonna write the personal thank you notes with the, uh, we got a silver metallic pen that's somewhere around here. And then from there, um, it's gonna be just fulfilling with our label printer, this one right here, the small one. Uh, this thing is an absolute beast. So usually when fulfilling orders, I've got a copy and paste between tabs, between our Australia Post account and then our Gymsy's website, so I've got to go between tabs. Uh, but I've just actually integrated a new software. It's going to be our first time using it. It's going to be able to pull data straight from the website into the shipping software, so that there's no, you know, manual between tabs copying and pasting, and it's just going to pull it all in. So we're slowly uh, getting better at handling more orders. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Again, I just want to say thanks to all you guys who got amongst the drop. I'm actually, I'm not doing it today, but I've got all our new shirts downstairs. Um, for the drop in a few weeks time and we're not gonna always be just dropping like every three weeks guys This is just um, because this drop is running a week behind and we're doing this time capsule drop It's just basically just building up our stock levels so that there's always stock on the site for our customers because we a big issue that we've had with gym in the past is because I've been um, just relying on gym income to live as well um, that I haven't had extra sources of income to help build the brand basically. So what I'm really trying to do right now is um, put money from outside of Gymsties into Gymsties on top of keeping money that's in Gymsties in Gymsties. So got a few orders laid out. What I'm gonna do now, I'm actually just gonna write the thank you notes. So with Gymsties at the moment, what we're doing every order, we're just writing a thank you note, just showing some customer appreciation. And yeah, I'm actually, I'm feeling really sick at the moment to be honest. Um, I don't know what it is, but I just feel very off today and um, I'm like, I gotta pack all these orders, but I'm just gonna have to, it's just gonna be one of those days where I just gotta just do it, no matter how I feel, and um, hopefully I just start feeling better, I just feel a bit like not myself, um, I don't know what it is, I just, I just don't feel the best right now, but I gotta channel some love to write these thank you notes. Dear Angus, Angus, I'm actually gonna shout Angus out. Here's the first Jim C's order from, from the drop. Angus Holly from Brisbane, Queensland. Dear Angus, thank you so much. Alright, so packed a few up 